Here's how to reduce eye strain and headaches from staring at a computer screen. I've used this exact approach to improve my eye comfort despite staring at a computer screen 12 or more hours each day. If you're like me, you also stare at a computer screen all day long. Looking at a computer for four or more hours each day can make you susceptible to screen-induced eye irritation and discomfort. You know, that feeling when your eyeballs hurt and you just want to rub them? Many people flocked to blue light filtering glasses to curb this eye strain. However, recent research cast doubts on the benefits of such glasses since computers and phones actually emit a low amount of blue light. So if blue light glasses don't work, but you're suffering from eye discomfort from screens, what should you do? Let me show you. Medical experts, which I am not, offer four tips to combat screen-induced eye irritation. First, lubricate your eyes with eye drops three to four times per day. Second, take a break. Looking away from the screen at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds every 20 minutes, the 20-20-20 rule. Third, check your ergonomics ensuring that the screen is just below eye level and 20 to 30 inches away from your head. Check out my productivity desk setup for 2024 on this. Fourth, reduce glare. Checking that you minimize reflections from your computer screen. Personally, it's that last one that does me in. I find computer reflection and glare exhausting on my eyes. To address this, I've been using the BenQ Screen Bar Plus an LED computer monitor light designed to increase eye comfort and eliminate screen glare. Is it any good? Well, let's check it out. I purchased this BenQ Screen Bar Plus with my own money. Inside the box, you get the light, a wired controller with mechanical buttons for adjusting the brightness and color temperature of the light, and a USB power source. The light measures 17 and 3 quarters inches wide. In my setup, I plug the USB into an outlet under my desk. You could go directly into a computer or docking station, but this may limit use of the light to only when your monitor or computer are turned on. The counterbalance allows it to sit securely at the top of most computer monitors. I wasn't able to test this with a curved monitor, but it fits great on my straight 27 inch LG 4K display. With the light on at 500 lux, it can illuminate a workspace that's nearly 24 inches by 12 inches. If you really want to alleviate eye discomfort, you should add bias lighting behind your computer monitor to reduce the contrast from a single point of illumination, which helps to reduce eye strain. Using the wired controller, you can adjust the color temperature from 2700 Kelvin on the warm end to 6500 Kelvin on the cool end, and also adjust the overall brightness. The light includes a built-in ambient light sensor that will automatically adjust to the recommended light level of 500 lux. BenQ claims it has a patented reflector and lens that provide asymmetrical optics preventing glare, and offer a flicker-free, blue light-free experience. BenQ has two other monitor lights, including the original screen bar, for $109 and the screen bar halo for $179. I actually purchased the more expensive screen bar halo, which included both a front and a backlight and a wireless controller. However, by the second day of using it, I was fed up with the unreliability of the wireless controller. I was routinely unable to operate the light and you are forced to use the wireless controller because there are no controls on the light itself. The wired controller on this screen bar plus solves this and for $40 less. After one month with the BenQ screen bar plus, I think it's a nice addition to my desk setup. I suffer from chronic migraine, which can be induced by screen reflections among other things. It would be a stretch to say that this monitor light is a cure for migraine, but in my experience working long days in front of the computer screen, this has reduced my overall level of eye strain. But should you buy it? At $139, this light is not cheap, especially considering the range of more affordable options that exist. Because of the hours I log staring at a computer screen, resulting eye strain, and chronic migraine, I was willing to make this investment even if there was only a marginal chance that it would improve my overall well-being. 
After using it for one month, I have zero regrets. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you suffer from screen-induced eye strain and how you manage it in the comments. Consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.